Hey friends, remember your task. You're gonna be teaming up with a friend, sibling, or teammate to help out the woman from Sticksville who lost her knee from the kneecap down by helping her make a model prosthetic leg to replace the old one. Here are some good examples you can draw inspiration from to get the creative juices flowing. There is clearly many different ways to go about this one. And remember, you can always rewind this video to come back and take another look at these examples. And here are some of the materials that you get to get the job done. You're free to be creative and use your materials however you'd like to get the job done. But there is a first step to all this. You need to get a measurement from your partner's kneecap to the ground so you know how tall to make your prosthetic. Mine was about 20 inches. And once you have that measurement, we'd like for you to do some brainstorming and get some of your ideas down on paper before you just go about building it. Here's what we put on paper before we brought it to life. We first wanted to try to use these cardboard squares to make the sleeve, which is the part that your knee slides into. What's neat is the cardboard bends in that direction and can really fit any size leg. Friends, as you're going about building your project, here's a checklist of reminders that we want you to keep in mind so you can make the best possible prosthetic that you can. Speaking of being comfortable, we wanted to take the sponge and a piece of felt to make a nice soft spot that our knee can rest on. This part can be a little tricky, but if we're sticking by what we designed on paper, we need to tape some PVC pipes to the sides of it. After it's taped down, it's really important that you give it a little extra push so you make sure the tape is bonded on there as strong as possible. Next, we went ahead and taped the two cardboard tubes together and adjusted them along the side to determine how high we needed it to be. So once we taped our tubes to the PVC pipes, this is really starting to look like it's coming together. Sticking to the plan, we then wanted to glue the bottom onto a cardboard sheet to sort of resemble a foot and take some pressure off of it. And finally friends, this prosthetic is no good if we can't really attach it to our leg. Our strategy was to poke some holes in the back and then place some string through it and tie it around the front, sort of like tying a shoe. Your other option is you could make a form of a harness that you can pull up on and make it a little bit easier to walk with. 